Okay. Let's get this off. Let's get him rolled. He's got an IO in his left humerus. Oh, you have an IO? Yeah. yeah. And then we also gave him oral uh, fentanyl. Take a yep. big deep breath for me. In and out. Thank you. Good. Again. Good. Breath sounds bilaterally. Heart sounds normal, clear. He's got a palpable femoral pulse. Pelvis is stable. He's got a narrow pulse pressure. Is that his blood pressure, 132 over 80? Yep. Look right at me. Okay. Some drugs, please. We will. Significant soft tissue injury to the left leg. No obvious long term deformity on the left. Yeah. Just making sure he gets everything he needs. Right. Deformity on the right, and AKA, he's got a bandaged right hand. He's got pressure. Cycle that pressure again, please. Take a breath for me. I know what's going on right now. Good. You may not want to, but I'm glad you do. How's it doing now? Is he already bleeding more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. Please help me out. You got that ID or not? And give up. 50th penny ID, please. Give me a scissors. What's his blood pressure? Give it to me. Blood pressure 74 over 27. Need blood from Trauma Bay 4. Okay, give me a knife. Do we have a clamp? Where's the coffin? You guys ready to roll? Ready. Let's roll. How you doing? Talk to me. Talk to me. Hours later, they learned the medic survived and is headed home. Everybody involved helped save his life. I think that mission I'll hold as a moment in my life where people live and people die and I'm happy he lived. If somebody asked me how it was, I'll tell them, but would they be able to understand fully what I'm trying to talk about? No. Does it matter? Not really. You got like this moment in your life that you can't really express how you feel, I guess.